I think that the trouble is that um, uh, these central bankers are, they ought to be referees, they ought to be umpires. Instead, they are down there in the field, they're running the bases, they are um, hitting home runs, they're throwing exceptionally strong curveballs. They are the stars where they ought to be the stewards and the bystanders and the scorekeepers. Um, time was when central bankers were, were, were quite suitably anonymous people. They, they were in the background, they were doing what they ought to do, but in a suitably quiet way. When they become masters of monetary improv or not masters of monetary improv, we, we know that something is wrong and something is in fact wrong. We, know way too much about Janet Yellen. We know way too much about Ben Espernaki, oh, PhD. Status, yeah. right. uh, but, but a couple of things made it different. Number one, the extraordinary problems of, of the financial crisis. And two, the, the fiscal gridlock between you know, the you know, white, you know, they, there was no other game in town. You've heard all these excuses for you know, why they had to step up. You know what is, is, is curious, though, when you think, it is now year six of this monetary improv. Yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago, Chairman Bernanke said, we're learning by doing, learning by doing. Yeah. <laughs> there Great. are thousands of years of monetary history that they might have consulted. Instead, we are making it up as we go along. Um, you know, again, to get back to the idea of, uh, of the umpires uh, not only running the game but also playing in it, uh, we don't know exactly from day to day where the strike zone is. We don't exactly know uh, how many strikes you get, nor the distances from home plate to first base. These things we learn while doing. And sometimes they change the rules after the game is over. 